we'll go back to baseball talk, but I want to go back to some baseball talk again because uh, Taxi Squad we've got some of our favorite guys on the line: Mike Ventola, Pat McCarthy. How you guys doing, man? You there? Doing well. How are you guys? There you are. We got you both on the line. It's opening day. Couldn't we all be great? <laughs> That's exactly right. How ex- how ex- I know this is very strange, especially for you guys, but you know, as guys who make a living in baseball, what's it like? Okay. For it's strange, you know. I, it's similar for a lot of guys. Uh, you know, for us, you know, in our entire adult lives and going into our childhood, all we knew during the summer was baseball. So it's a lot of extra time on our hands, that's for sure. Um, more but than enough strange, extra you know? time, especially when I'm in uh, c- continuing conversation with you, my friend. That's all I'm going to say. So. Oh, hey, hey, watch yourself. Wow, we figured it would take a you couple miss- minutes before that. You miss me and you know it. <laughs> I miss you very much, buddy. This is, I don't know what, I, not, not sitting next to you all summer long has really been uh, causing me some early stages of depression. Just FYI, I got to put that out there. See, so. it actually sounds like you guys need to socially distance. <laughs> it, it let's, is, just, let's just let's just say Pat and I having a socially distant has probably been as hard as anything that's gone on. Let's just say because we're always like together when we are together. So, so how's it, so how's it going to work with you guys? You so for everybody that doesn't know, Lehigh Valley is hosting the Phillies Taxi Squad. So tell us how the Taxi Squad and how Allentown's going to be handling the Taxi Squad. All right, so what we're pretty much doing uh, for folks who are um, trying to figure out exactly what is going on here is uh, pretty much Lehigh Valley, as you said, is the alternate site for the Phillies players. So for what we're doing from an Iron Pig standpoint is um, what we're trying to – we essentially did was um, we had our television partner, Service Electric, they're willing to come in and they're televising uh, the scrimmages. So pretty much folks who live in the Valley essentially – um, we'll be able to watch uh, these scrimmages daily starting tomorrow, Sunday, and for the days moving forward. So, um, and for those of you who essentially, and I know for you guys been down to spring training and Pat can attest to this as well, um, there, it's going to be like spring training style. could be three innings one day, five innings one day, guy goes two innings, throws four innings. You know, guy may bat twice in an inning. That's what's going to kind of be the uh, cool things for folks who are going to able to check the, you know, check and watch these games. So, uh, for us though, as a staff, we kind of just sit back and watch it all happen. We can't really, we can't at all um, interact with the players and coaches just because of COVID-19 and everything else that's going on. So, but uh, um, Service Electric that televises all Iron Pigs home games. Um, they will be, uh, like I said, they'll be televising, and Pat and I will be. Uh, making our ways onto the telecast from time to time, which will be pretty cool. So when you get on the telecast, you've got some of the names that people are looking to see up with the big squad that at the very least are going to start down with you guys, Spencer Howard, Alec Bohm, some other guys. Who are you looking forward to see that, that's sort of going to be there with you? Pat, I'll let you answer that one first, buddy. Yeah, uh, if for me, I haven't seen – Spencer Howard yet live. I saw Alec Bohm a little bit when I was down in spring training this year. So, you know, obviously those are the two guys that are most exciting and the guys that everybody wants to see. So I'm excited to see Spencer Howard. I'm excited to see the continued development of Alec Bohm. And I'm interested to see what, where they place him, where he's going to play down of these taxi squad games, because we've seen him work at first base. We've seen him work at third base. So, you know, I'm excited for that. And yeah, I think, you know, there's there's opportunities there for a lot of guys. I'm excited to see the tra- you know some of the adjustments that Damon Jones has made because I love his stuff. Connor Brogdon is another name that I've loved watching, and from everything I've seen so far this year, he's been dominant. So, you know, there's different guys that I'm just excited to see their continued development as they get ready to take the next step. So, those are some of the guys that I'm most excited to see. Uh, guys, not much different from what Pat said. You know, um, I guess you know I've, I've, I'm excited to really see uh, Spencer Howard. You know, if I had to pick one guy, just because of I know you know he impressed the Phillies uh, during his time up with the big club, and you know, and I would expect him to join Philadelphia at some point. Um, but to piggyback something else that um, Pat talked about is, and I did get a chance to see Bone uh, down in spring training, and I did actually some television games for Reading. Uh, this past season. So 
Um, I got a chance, really gotten to see him a little bit. But the continued development of Connor Brogdon, uh, Pat hit the nail on uh, on a lot of what you know Connor Brogdon is all about. I mean, he is just really uh, kind of taking the system over by storm. Uh, not only in his ability to, you know, his, he has so much life on his fastball, but he's got to me a, 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 not that I'm from Boston, but a wicked changeup. And I'm really excited to see him kind of develop into what he could potentially be as a, maybe a back end, late end, late inning type option for the Phillies in the future. So, you know, there are going to be some guys that um, Philly fans are going to kind of get to know um, whether they, you know, get, you know, reports, you know, we're going to be trying to do our best to report what we can from the field throughout the season, but also, too, if and when they make their way up to Philadelphia, what these guys are capable of doing. You guys get to watch. You, you have the pleasure of watching these guys grow, both as people and as athletes. What's it like when you see somebody like – I know he made, he made it up last year, but for his first opening day, I believe, what's it like to, to see somebody like Cole Irvin make an open day, opening day roster? I, I got to be honest with you. For me, it is. Um, it's almost as if uh, that. It's it, to me that is one of the probably the most enjoyable thing I get to enjoy being, uh, you know, having the opportunity to work with these guys is watching these guys get the call to go up and then make their big league de- debuts. Um, you know, Pat and I have been very fortunate to be in clubhouses, to be whether it be at home or on the road when we get, you know, we get to witness, you know, guys shaking hands with their teammates, you know, get, receiving the news from their coaches and going up. And um, it's probably, for me, the most satisfying thing of being, you know, you know, working with these guys in the minors, you know, especially for me, I've, you know, I saw Reese, you know, guys like Reese Hoskins and Aaron Nola come up through the minors and seeing what now they've been able to do at the major league level. Um, it's just really cool to see. Even, even with the mustache? <laughs> um, well, you know, look, hey, look, Reese, you know, look, Reese, he's got that, you know, California mindset at times, which is great. You know, he's easy going, cool, laid back, one of the nicest human beings around. And, you know, look, he's going to try things out, you know, and he's, you know, from what I've seen, you know, he's trying the mustache. And look, if he ends up kicking butt with the mustache, I hope he keeps going with it. So, uh, you know, baseball players sometimes get a little superstitious. So maybe Reese is just trying to try something new. Matt, you tell me. I think Ventola is just jealous. He can't grow a stash like that. That's really all of that. Oh, he wouldn't work. even if he I, tried. Do we, do we really have to talk about this? <laughs> no, I, I get this even. enough from Pat throughout the season. Yeah, well, I, I'm glad <laughs> to be there for you. I'm glad that I can help out. Uh, you know, guys like Adam Hazley, who we had the chance to talk to last year at Reading before he was called up, fans who only saw him at the big league level a little bit last year, what do you think that they can expect to see from him as a player on the big team? Yeah, I think you know, when it comes to Adam Hazley, I think you're just going to see a guy that's going to flat out hit anywhere you place him and at any time. It, it, the way he makes contact is it, it's incredibly impressive. I, he's he's just such an old school bat to ball type of guy, um, and he's going to go get it in center field too. And you know, I think Mike Mike can agree with this when I say fans are just going to love the guy. Uh, you know, you mentioned guys, you know that you get excited for to make their first opening day. You mentioned Cole already, but Hayes is another guy. I mean, he's, he's just awesome. And he, he's cut from a different, he's cut from a different cloth. So I, I think Philly's fans are just, they're just going to love the guy more than anything because he's going to play the game hard. He's not going to say much. He's really soft-spoken, but he's going to lead that team on the field in different ways. And he, he's the type of guy that as a fan base, you're just going to root for because he's never going to say the wrong thing. He's just going to go out and he's going to hit and he's going to play his butt off every single night. So yeah, I think fans just should just accept a guy that's going to flat out play baseball the right way. And I think that's, that's the number one thing you can ask from a guy. Guys, I don't know if you know, we had Greg Luzinski on earlier. I could not get my Bulls barbecue. How am I supposed to get my bacon? How, where, where am I supposed to get all my bacon-related products if I can't go to Coca-Cola Park? If you guys can't tell, the theme of the show today is food. And Jeff has invited guests on to find out where he can feed himself. So earlier, it was a turkey <laughs> sandwich from Bulls barbecue. Now he's on a search for bacon. Can you help? 
<laughs> well, Jeff, <laughs> Mike? if you can make me a, Jeff, if you can make me an offer, I can't refuse. I'll see what I can do about working something out for you. You know, green is a beautiful thing. And, you know, whether it be George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Ulysses S. Grant, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Is it Jefferson, President's Day? You send a, yeah, I mean, you could just send a few of those green things with those certain presidents and, you know, political figures um, on my way. Maybe we'll work something out to see if you can get some bacon. I'll get you some Ferris and Fifi bucks. How's that? There we go. I'll take some of that as well, too. That works. <laughs> Before we let you guys go, um, I'm not sure if you saw Dr. Fauci's first pitch last night. Um, <laughs> it was somewhere around the first pitch of uh, board up at the station, Ryan Lennox, who spiked the ball. Um, could I get your comparison to what Lennox did when he came out to visit you and what Dr. Fauci did last night? Well, I'm trying to, Pat, were you there for that first pitch? I'm trying to remember. Uh, that was 2018, wasn't it? So, if so I was on. Yeah, I wasn't there that season. Yeah, you were in Lehigh Valley. That's right. So I guess I'll take this one, guys. You know what's funny? I was texting Jeff a little bit about this earlier, and to give, I got to give credit where credit's due. Ryan Lennox had a better first pitch than Dr. Fauci, and it, to me, it wasn't even close. Um, really I hate to admit that because I know now that I agreed something with Ryan, you know, Ryan's ego is going to get a little bit bigger. But that's wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Just so we're clear, you say it's better than Dr. Fauci's, who Fauci cl- threw it close to the dugout. But what, explain for us exactly where Ryan Lennox's pitch actually he ended up. Closer to the pitcher's mound than he did home plate. <laughs> I, you know what? But see, to me, I'm all about trajectory. At least Ryan's was at least to be trajectory towards home plate. Fauci was just towards the dugout. And me, the follow through, if you w- saw Fauci, he followed the baseball the entire time. At least Ryan looked towards home plate. Yeah, it just it, it didn't work out for us. Guys, uh, we always appreciate the time. Uh, look forward to the updates on the taxi squad. Look forward to hearing your voices calling the games. Stay healthy and uh Excited to have baseball back. Thanks for the time. You got it, boys. Thanks for having me. Thanks, guys. You too.